Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Willow Oak. I'm Olivia, and I am here to do your reading for the last week in April. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? You might check your other placements for a more complete picture, or if this does not resonate with you. You have co-create. Beautiful. So it depends on all the variables, but it could be co-creating with spirit. Mm -hmm. Unless you are co-creating with another person. But it is saying to co-create. Okay, let's see what else we have. Beautiful. You have the scarab beetle. Magic works through you. It's a beautiful card to get. Mm -hmm. All right, one more. And these are to kind of give us a starting point, right? To see how things are going with you. Sure, this one better do that again because it was a tie between those two. So we're gonna do that again. Okay. Let's get one more. Mm -hmm. And this is energy, and I have it set for a week. However, energy being what it is, it can last as long as it wants to. <gasps> Surrender. The reason I'm kind of giggling about this is because I just did this and I wasn't sure if it was this card or the card underneath that wanted to come out. So I reshuffled. Same card. So definitely meant to be out. Mm-hmm. Surrender. It's time to surrender to something. We'll get more information. Okay. Now let's see what your overall energy is. Okay, you have the Eight of Air, the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. Okay. I would imagine that has something to do with the surrender and the co-create. And just so you know, magic does work through you. You just might be having a hard time seeing it right now, yeah? Okay. Like I said, we'll take clarifying cards. But let's go ahead and see a little bit more. Now, on this card... Just to mention, these are your thoughts, your emotions, okay? And you have control of them or the ability to have control of them, okay? Here, the Three of Pentacles, you are learning. Mm -hmm. You could be learning from the Masters and the Apprentices, right? The Masters have done whatever this is for so long that they know everything about it. And the apprentices make some mistakes, but they have all the novel ideas. So you're taking the best of both and making something that is uniquely you, whatever that may be. Okay, let's get another card. Balance. Okay. Because of these cards here, I'm getting the feeling that this is saying 
you need to create balance in your life. Okay. Yeah. Um, especially the, your overall energy. And those are emotions and thoughts. Now, mind you, they can be the result of something that's happened in your external environment. Or it can be something strictly from within. But either way, you're in control. <clears throat> or you're the one who's creating them. Beautiful. You have the Ace of Wands. That's saying a new beginning for you. One that you are very passionate about. And here you have the Hermit. This talks about you going within in search of enlightenment. It can be enlightenment for enlightenment's sake, or it can be for a specific reason. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. And see what we find. Okay. This is success after difficulty. And again, it can be something from your external environment, or it could be solely from within you. You know, an internal struggle. But either way, you are very strong because you are pushing your way through this. It's not being handed to you on a silver platter. You're pushing your way through, which is showing you, how strong you are. Mm -hmm. You have, beautiful. You have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is very enthusiastic, ambitious, extremely charismatic. People tend to follow him because of his charisma. And he's also quite social. And you have the magician. And the magician says that you can create the life you want. You know, you truly can. And this is an action card. So it's saying take action. Okay? Use your practicality and your magic to bring your reality to life. The reality that you want. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that is the King of Pentacles, which is a wonderful king, a wonderful energy. This is one that is truly caring, um, and it is the one that has the Midas touch, which you touch turns to gold. And it's usually about uh, being self-employed, contract worker, or something like that, where you create something or do something, you're your own boss. You know, it doesn't have to be, but he's known as the ultimate business owner, okay? So maybe this is just a possibility that this could have something to do with career. Mm-hmm. Not happy with it. You want to create change to bring in balance. But it looks like if you do, it's something that you're going to have to learn about, which you're not a master of. Okay, and these three came out together. What this is saying is you are planting seeds. You know, this is not an overnight thing. You're planting seeds, and of course you're using this garden as a way of showing the meaning. When I, I think it's a perfect way to do it. You're planting seeds. You're nurturing them. You're feeding them, giving them enough sun and water, etc. to where in time you have this beautiful garden, right? And it can so stop there or it can continue on and say, but do you feel like it's really worth it? So this is a very individual thing, right? Is this worth it to you? what you're doing. And here, you have the hermit. 
which you also have here. So this is the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said, go inside to seek enlightenment, go within yourself, use your intuition, and find out if what you're doing is really what you want to be doing. Okay? And here you have the devil card. So that would make me think that what you've been doing is not where your heart is or there's something about it that um, is not good for you, does not make you happy. There's something here, okay? But like I said, we'll take cards. But now at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Queen of Cups, which is an absolutely beautiful energy. This is the Mother Archetype who is totally trustworthy. And what she does, she does out of love. And the reason why is because that's who she is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some clarifying cards here and see what we find out. Let's start with Surrender. And the Surrender card is telling you that you need to surrender to something. Mm -hmm. That you are kind of, you know, to me it relates to this card some. Like you're holding on to something that is not benefiting you. Okay. Tower. Which would... Go with surrender. Only the tower is an abrupt way to go about it. Mm -hmm. The towers have a couple of things in common. One, they are abrupt. Two, they create change. Okay? The rest of it is all over the place. They can be positive. They can be challenging. They can be tiny, huge, self-imposed, or they can happen to you. You know, and you not even know about it until it's right in front of you. But yeah, it's saying you need to surrender. And it looks like with the way your energy is right now, it could easily come as a tower. But now do remember, this is all energy. So if you change your energy, this energy can change as well, right? Okay, now back to your overall energy. The illusion of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. And this has a bit of a challenge, so I'm going to take a card for it. But this is saying that you put yourself in the spot. Okay, it's your thoughts, your emotions. Um, and like it says, you know, um, lack of self-confidence. It could be just... Potentially you being lost within the environment that you're in and not knowing how to go forward, right? Okay, let's take a card for that. And to me, that this totally relates to this. Because one of the most common things that I have found, this card comes out when you are emotionally stuck to it, you know, to a negative cycle or something. The moon. Okay, the moon can mean a few things. One is that it is telling you, you need to use your intuition. Okay, you need to go within and you need to trust yourself. Use your intuition. And it also says that it's what you feed. If you feed the good side, it will grow. If you feed the bad side, it will grow. Whichever side you do not feed will wither and die. So feed the good side. And from what it looks like here, a lot of it is talking about your thoughts and emotions. Feed the positivity. Feed the good side. And if you are not happy doing what you are doing, you really should consider making a switch. Okay? So you can find your happiness. Now it also talks about it's dark, right? When the moon comes out, it's harder to see. And they say, use your intuition to help guide your path. All right? Now, I fully believe that you should use your intuition all the time. 
But this specifically is saying, use your intuition, feed the good side. And if you do that, we'll get out of this trap. Okay. And it is an emotional trap that I'm sure you didn't do on purpose. You know, you didn't set out to put yourself in a trap, but that's where you got yourself. Yeah. So use your intuition. Go in and think about it. Make changes. Take action to get out of this position and into a place where you feel very, very good. Okay. All right. Let's get a card for the Five of Pentacles. And also here it says, oh, okay. This one, magic works through you. And it does. You just need to realize it. Okay. This is the Six of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. It is one of nostalgia, okay? And uh, what it talks about is thinking about times from childhood and on up that bring warmth and smiles, you know, these beautiful memories. And it also says that somebody from the past could be coming back into your life. But I also believe that it is a card of caring and sharing um, that there's a lot of love in this card. Okay. And that's clarifying this. So it is possible that thinking back, maybe it's something that you wanted to do, but thought you couldn't, you know, that's just an example, but using the love, the care, and going forward. Mm -hmm. And potentially, like I said, somebody from the past could be coming back. But this energy here is one where you are very strong and you refuse to let yourself stay in this. You are pushing yourself through this and into this new energy. And here it talks about these beautiful memories and love and caring. And so kind of the feeling I'm getting about this is, yeah, push your way through it. You don't need to be here. But remember to love yourself, care for yourself, take time for enjoyment, you know, make for sure that you take time for you to smile. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, this is a beautiful card. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And this is saying, by going through this, you are going to be very happy and content with your abundance, which is huge. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a card for the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. This card... It's the very same card as this card, all right? It's where you're planting seeds and building or growing your garden and, you know, nurturing it, taking care of it, devoting much time and energy to it so it will flourish. But remember, I said it can end there, right? Or... You can find yourself thinking, is this worth it? Is all the time and effort I'm spending doing this really what I want to do? Okay, so you're getting that very same card to clarify the balance. And this is saying you need to bring balance into your life. So the way I'm taking this, especially since it's coupled with the devil, that you need to reevaluate what it is that this applies to. Okay, and if it really is worth it, then find the happiness in it, okay? If it's not worth it, create change, okay? And I'm going to kind of put this down, stagger these so we can see them a little better, okay? Now let's get a card for the devil energy. Okay, 
we have a few cards here. We have the High Priestess. And, <laughs> okay, the Eight of Cups. The High Priestess is telling you that you are in tune with your intuition and your divine feminine energy and your higher self. And it's saying you need to go in and use this energy to figure out what it is that you want. Okay, any questions you have, use this. Go within because you know. Inside of you, you know. And here, what this is saying is you are done. You can do no more. Whatever this is about, you've done everything you can. You can do no more. So you are moving on. You are going to a place that is filled with peace, happiness, joy, safety. You know, all the things that you want. Okay? So right there is, you know, getting rid of the devil energy. It'll be gone. Mm -hmm. And in, in this case, to me, the devil energy is totally about your thoughts and your emotions. And like I said, it can come from or be initiated by an external source. Right? But it's you who is building on that, taking that, you know, kind of like this, taking that seed and only on the challenging side and growing it into something that is very hard to deal with. But here, if you go in, use your intuition. You have the hermit twice, right? Go within and find enlightenment. You are going to discover that, yeah, it is indeed time to walk away. And that will be taking this totally out of the picture. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute. Here it's saying you need to surrender. All right, and I'm sure that is within you. If you're holding on to something, let it go. All right. And I'm talking about something challenging. If you're holding on to a, a challenging energy that does not serve you, let it go. And you have a tower, right? So remember, towers can happen to you or they can be self-imposed. And I'm kind of getting a feeling this one could be self-imposed. Because I think you're beginning to realize what's going on here. Mm -hmm. You're in this energy that's filled with challenging thoughts and emotions to the point that you feel like you can't go forward. And you're, you realize this and you know, it's not okay. Use your intuition and feed the good side. Do not feed into the negative energy. Only feed into the positive energy that will help you move on. Co-create. And I would definitely say now, this co-creation is with spirit, okay? Let spirit help you. And here, this is a beautiful card. And I think this is a major card for you to see. Magic works through you. Allow it to, okay? You have to have a kind of a balance going on within in order for the magic to work through you. You know, you don't want to be stuck. You need the balance. Okay. So if you are going to start something new, it looks like you are not going to be a master of it, that you're going to need to learn some about it. You might not, I mean, you might know a lot about it, but you're still going to be learning. Or maybe it's possible that this learning is about the process that you go through to remove yourself from this challenging energy and put yourself you know, into the light, right? Okay. And here, you are very strong. It takes a strong person to push their way through the challenges. And you are strong. And that's exactly what you're doing. And here it talks about the love, nostalgia, and maybe it's saying, you know, draw on some of your beautiful memories if you need to. 
to get away from this. Like, I, I personally think anytime you get overwhelmed, you know, go take a walk in the woods and think about things that make you happy. Okay? Here, you need to put balance into your life. And you have this card, which is the very same card as this card, so I think the two are definitely connected. Okay? This is, in order to get the balance, you got to deal with this. And you have this card right here. Okay, so between all of these is your new beginning, the Ace of Wands. You having a new beginning, one that you are very passionate about. It's your passion driving you, which is beautiful. Because I'm getting the feeling that whatever is going on or has been going on, you don't have the passion for it. Mm -hmm. And this is where, you know, you say, yeah, self-imposed ending probably. Or you say, that's it. I'm done. I am going to do what I love. And then you will start to see these challenges fall away because you are going for what you love. Okay, anyway, this and this and this and this. So it's kind of, you know, we've got this triangle thing going and right in the middle, you have your new beginning that's filled with passion. So this to me is like the guide book moment. Yeah. Here's what's going on. You know, you've worked hard at whatever this is. And I don't think it's bringing you the joy. Go within, put yourself in this hermit mode to find enlightenment on what it is that you are passionate about, how to go forward. And then it looks like you definitely are taking action, right? Mm -hmm. And by doing so, using your intuition, your divine feminine energy and your higher power, because you are in touch with them, okay? You have a connection with them. You will walk away from whatever the challenge is, which is going to make this devil energy disappear. It will be gone. Okay, this will be gone, all right? In here, this is talking about being charismatic, being enthusiastic, excited, social too, but to me the biggest picture is here, or here is the passion. And what came out with it is a magician. So I do believe this is saying, okay, you are passionate about something. Definitely. Create that. Get rid of whatever this is that you do not like and create the life of passion. And that you have everything you need to do it. You just have to get it started. And that will help create the confidence that you need to go forward. But you have everything you need. Yeah. Use practicality and your magic. Get this new beginning started that's filled with passion. Mm hmm It will make a huge difference. And here, you know, the very last card that we got here was the Queen of Cups. And this Queen of Cups is here, I'm sure, to support you, to help you. She's very trustworthy, and she is a mother archetype, and she is filled with love. So if at any time during this time, you need somebody just to go to, go to this energy, okay? Yeah, and I think this is a big deal, this card right here. Magic works through you. You just have to open the door to it, which is here, okay? Kind of a deep reading. What I see is you are currently doing something and probably have been doing it for quite some time that you're not fond of. Maybe at one time you were, but maybe things have happened that have changed that. You know, people grow and change as time goes on. And maybe you're realizing that you do not want to do it anymore. And it's to the point that it's put you in 
this position, which has allowed this to come in to try to control you. But you can see here, it's not going to. This is gonna be gone. Anyway, yeah, you have a passion. And when you start this, then this can come through. The magic will work through you. And to accomplish this, co-create with spirit, allow spirit in to help you through this, okay? So this has its definite challenges, but the outcome is go going to be beautiful because you are gonna have this new beginning where you are going to do what you love. Mm -hmm. And once you start that, it's gonna be like a whole different world for you. Okay. Let's see what the universe would like to share. <laughs> Very good. The Knight of Swords. Knights are the hardest working cards in the deck. And this particular knight is the fastest knight in the deck. So this is saying to me that you are going to be working very hard and very fast to accomplish this. So that kind of says there is no doubt. You know, you're seeing a whole lot of this, if not all of this. And now you are going to take action. So this definitely going by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get another card. Yeah, here we are. This is saying you it's like holding the world in your hand. You know exactly what it is that you want. And you're strategizing on how to go forward with this. You know, how to get this accomplished. And this is saying you might very well be leaving something behind. And I'm sure what that would be is what has been the cause of these challenging thoughts. Mm hmm And I do definitely get the feeling that this is either something in your life that's general or career specific. Maybe a combination of the two. Whoa. And this just flew out, which is absolutely beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this is saying it is going to be a fortunate new beginning for you. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Get this going. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, and you're going to be able to go for your passion. And here you are, creating the life that you love. This will be gone. Got no chance. And I just thought you'd like to see this, that at the bottom of the deck, from taking the clarifying cards, you have the strength card. And kind of like I was saying down here, you're very strong. This is just confirming it, that you are very strong. You are going to put behind you whatever it is that you're not wanting in your life and you're bringing in your passion. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a charm. <laughs> okay, I love these charms. Usually they're right on target. This is a guitar, okay? And so, of course, what this is saying is, you know, sing your own song. You know, create your own music. Write your own song. In other words, make the life that you want and that you certainly can do it. Beautiful. Okay, thank you so much. I hope this helps. And I hope you enjoy your week and good luck going forward. Much love. Bye.